NK Telco Sports welcomes you to our coverage of high school basketball where the hardened house and Wildcats will take on the Jackson Center Tigers. Tonight's game is brought to you by the following sponsors. First National Bank, Keyhole Pizza, Precision Strip, Winner's Meat, Grand Lake Health Systems, and NK Telco. My name is Michael Laws, glad to be with you here. We're here for Shelby County Athletic League action as we are getting ready to finish up the season as we have the six and four overall and three and eight in the Shelby County Athletic League Harden Houston Wildcats as they're gonna take on the 13 and seven overall and six and five in the Shelby County Athletic League Jackson Center Tigers. Currently, Jackson Center currently sitting in fourth place and Jacks, or excuse me, and Houston's currently sitting in seventh uh, place here in the Shelby County Athletic League. So looking to finish up the season strong here as both tournament draws are done. And they know their opponents and pretty much trying to finish up for league placement and momentum going into the uh, OHSAA tournament. So we're going to get, we're going to, bring it down for just a minute as we will have the uh, uh, anthem and then we'll have starting lineups, keys of the game and tip off when we return on NK Telco Sports. Kogi Plumbing and Heating is your Bryant Factory authorized dealer. We have brought the best of comfort, control, and plumbing services to the St. Mary's area for over 60 years. We have been Reader's Choice winners for the last four years running and excel at providing our customers with efficient and reliable heating and air conditioning as well as responsive service when a plumbing emergency arises. We insist that the products we install in our customers' homes and businesses offer the same performance and value that we expect ourselves. Call today for your next plumbing and heating or air conditioning needs. Bryant, whatever it takes. Welcome back to Jackson Center High School as we get ready to get started here with the Shelby County Athletic League contest between Houston and Jackson Center. So here we'll get started here for the starting lineups. Number one, Olivia Burks, a sophomore, 5'8". Number four, number four, Lauren Krim, a 5'8 guard sophomore. Katie Meyer, number five, currently at 10 points, four rebounds a game, the senior. McKenna Vonderhoeve, number 11, also a sophomore. And Emily Earl, currently coming into the game at 12 points and 9.5 rebounds a game. The varsity coach for Houston is Brian Gillespie, assisted by Angela Arns and Kyle Borchers. Starting for Jackson Center, number four, Grace Pranger, the senior. Number 10, Presley Reese, the junior. Number 14, McKinley Reichert, the junior. Number 20, a shooting guard senior, Addie Biederman, 5'11". And number Number 44, Macy Kloppenstein, the center senior, will round it out and round it out as a starter for Jackson Center. They are coached by Tiffany Brown. And now for the keys of the game, brought to you by Keyhole Pizza for Houston. Take care of the basketball, limit turnovers, rebound the ball effectively, and make your free throws. And for Jackson Center, limit your turno limit turnovers, defense intensity, and good shots. Selection. And those are your keys of the game. Brought to you by Keyhole Pizza. And we thank them for bringing it in. And the, and the tip goes to Jackson Center. Underneath the Kloppenstein. Actually, that was um, McKinley Reichert. We'll get it started. And uh, Jackson Center up two to nothing. Houston. And Krim. Over to Von and then back out. Katie Meyer. Only coming into the game 10 points a game. On average, Curly hit 700 points in her career. Congratulations to her. Uh, 
knocked out. Looked like it was off of uh, Biederman, knocked it out of the hands of Olivia Burks. And it'll keep the ball with the Wildcats. All the way inbounds. And the Krim trying to find underneath. The deflection rebound comes. Oh, nice rip away. Emily Earl coming up big underneath the boards. Creating that and brings the, and we are now even. Riker to Pranger. Between the rings, not to Kloppenstein. Over to Biederman. Biederman will find Pranger. 37 to go here, first National Bank scoreboard, all tied at two here in the first quarter. Shelby County Athletic League, glad to be with you here. Wrapping it up here for the girls. Getting ready for tournament time. Driving underneath is Riker. Trying to find the opening double team underneath. Can't find it. They had the three. Trying to say that. Out to Biederman. Biederman got it for three. Gillespie. Coach Gillespie either wanting a three second or going for there. Houston off the side of the rim, no good. We'll come down to Kloppenstein. Biederman will come into the front court. Currently up five to two. And we got something. A charge off the ball. <coughs> That'll be charged against Jackson Center. Looks like that was charged to Presley Reese off the ball. And now bring Jackson Center back into the front court. Krim, off the front of the rim, no good. And we got some con, oh, we got a walk against Emily Earl. Trying to keep the handle. And back comes Jackson Center here. 5.33 to go first quarter, 5-2. to two. Great that steal. Number five, Katie Meyer, and ah, and she will lay it up for an easy two off the nice steal, and that'll bring the to bring it to five to four. Great read there by Katie, Katie Meyer. Biederman. Underneath. Did she move the foot? Nope. Underneath Poppenstein all by herself. And bring the total to seven to four in favor of Jackson Center. Quarters Krim. Find Von Noble. Emily Earl. And Burks. Burks trying to drive against Biederman. In front of the room. No good. Got it. Is Von Noble. Long two. Brings a total of seven to six. Reese into the front court. Finds Pranger. Going to Riker. Long three off the side of the rim, no good. Over the top is Kloppenstein. She lock it out of bounds. Over the head of Emily Earl. And that will give the ball back to Houston for a chance to take the lead here on this trip up the floor. 4.20 to 1 to go here in the first quarter. 7 to 6 in favor of Jackson Center. Oh, nice block. Entered by Presley Reese. And the rebound will come down to Riker. Over to Biederman. Biederman, long two. In and out, no good. Coppenstein can't come up with a rebound. Rebound comes to Emily Earl. And Meyer into the front court. Finds Krim. Warren Krim. Over to Bonnenhugel. Inside, Katie Meyer. Long three, no good. Biederman over, or did we have it off of red? They just had the ball out of bounds. But the foul, but... Burks was contested there by Biederman. But it was off of Burks. So Reese over to Riker. Riker trying to find wide open is Kloppenstein. And did they get her? Yep, they got her on their walk. Trying to hold that. And the ball was blocked, but that was no issue there. And that will turn the ball over, give the ball back to Houston. 3.31 to go here. First quarter, 7 to 6. Favor, nice block by Biederman. Burks will come back up, find it. Emily Earl. Biederman comes up with a nice steal over there. No. Oh. 
Ackerman coming into the into the front court. And over to Reese. Back to Biederman. Biederman long two. Oh, contact from Von Hubel. That'll be in the act of shooting. That should send Biederman to the line, I believe. And at will, 2.57 to go here. 7 to 6 in favor of Jackson Center. Now, Biederman will get a free throw, bring her total to 4, and bring the lead to 8 to 6. On the act of shooting, Biederman will get the second. Biederman currently lead, leads scoring 5 points and brings the total to 9 to 6 here. 2.54 to go here, rolling first quarter. 9 to 6 in favor of Jackson Center. Lauren Krem on the side trying to go underneath. That's a contact on Reichert. Reichert. Big time contact on Emily Earl. That will be her first foul. And we'll give the out of bounds back to Houston Krim. Inside stolen by Reichert, or excuse me, by Reese. Reese off the got contact foul going to the basket by Meyer. That should bring Reese to the line for a chance to get on the score sheet. 2.40 to go here, first National Bank scoreboard. 9 to 6 favor Jackson Center. Reese makes the first. E. Lichtenberg will check into the contest. She'll take replace Grace Pranger. Reese with her second attempt. And got it. Reese with two. Makes them both. Brings the lead to 11 to 6. 2.39 to go here. First, uh, first quarter here. First National Bank scoreboard. Driving is Meyer. Nice layup and good is Katie Meyer. Currently stands at four points. Brings the lead to 11 to 8. Favorite Jackson Center cuts into the lead. Making Cutting it down to three. Lichtenberg loses the handle on oh, the pass by Reese, and that will go out of bounds. It will be a turnover. And the ball back to Houston. Warren Grimm on the inbound, one down to Katie Meyer. Between the rings, 2.12 to go. Meyer in between the rings finds Krim. Way long three, got it. Warren Krim with three. And this will tie the ball game at 11. Reese over to Riker. Trying to find Lichtenberg left. Thought Lichtenberg was going to stay and missed her. That'll turn the ball over, give the ball back to Houston. Looks like a timeout. Timeout taken by Houston. And timeout brought to you by Pers Actually, it was given to taken by Jackson Center. So uh, timeout brought to you by Precision Strip. Just get a chance to try to get into some additional sponsors here for you. Carriage Works, Chill Tuck, LLC, Cy Schwederman, Dickman Supply, Elmo and Assisted Living, Hometown Opportunity, Hillsman Automotive, Kogi Pumbling and Heating, Lincoln Electric, Minster Bank, New Knoxville Supply, Securecom, Butch Chrysler Dodge Jeep, Ground Equipment, Shelby County Veteran Services, St. Henry Bank, and WCSM Radio. Of our additional sponsors. Our keys of the game brought to you by Keyhole Pizza. Timeouts will be brought to you by Precision Strip. Scoreboard's first national make. I will give you a player of the game, courtesy of NK Toko. And our mid uh, halftime and post game stats will be brought to you by Grand Lake Health System. So back into there. 151 to go here, first quarter. We are tied at 11. Oh. Off that's Krim. Off the web. Nice off the window and good as Meyer. Long two. Leaves her total to, to uh, six. And that will give the Houston the lead by two. Finding on the cut was Reese. Going out to Lichtenberg between the rings. And find Pranger. And then back to Reese. Back to Pranger. Pranger's wide open and driving the lane. Got the contact. No contact. Got the ball. And Houston will take the timeout as Simpson's in trouble there from Lauren Krim trying to get out of that double team. Couldn't do that. 
So a timeout again brought to you by Precision Strip. 1-12 to go here in the first quarter. 13-11 in favor of Houston. Oh, Grimm was having a little trouble getting out of that double team. Smart timeout by Coach Gillespie. Get them out of that so they'll keep the ball here in the first quarter. Again, 1-12 here remaining first quarter. 13-11 in favor of the Wildcats. Tight game last time they played. It was a very, very tight game. 47-44 win for Jackson Center in the first half of the home and home, which was at Houston. Basically the big key, according to both coaches, Jackson Center made their free throws. Houston did not. And towards the end, that was the difference maker. So hence the keys to the game. Long two off the rim, no good. Comes down to Reef. Reef finding Riker. Riker can't find the handle. Riker loses it out of bounds. Turnover will go to Houston. 53.1 to go here. First national make scoreboard 13 to 11 in favor of Houston. Oh, way underneath. And I was trying to find, uh, trying to find Burks. Cutting, nice cut by Burks, but uh, couldn't hold on to the handle and couldn't hold to the basketball. And the ball will go out. 40 seconds to go here, rolling here, first quarter. 13-11 still in favor of Houston. And there is Riker. Finds Pranger. Pranger to Lichtenberg. And Riker. Riker out to Biederman. Biederman long two. Got it. Daddy Biederman. Only at seven points, leading all Jackson Center scores. Got 10 seconds to go. Houston probably holding for the last shot. Driving. Kick out. And they turn, get it. Nope, in and out. Nice shot attempt there by Krim. Couldn't get it to go. And we are tied at 13 here after one quarter. So after one quarter of play, it's Jackson Center and Houston all tied up here at 13. We'll be back with more. High school girls basketball when we return here on NK Toto Sports. Hi, I'm Mallory. My grandpa's been making the world's worst pizza for 30 years. That doesn't look like the world's worst pizza. Grandpa, I know why they call you Chunky Bob. It's because you use chunky ingredients on your pizza. Of course, it's not because I'm fat. Grandpa, this is the world's best pizza. Keyhole Pizza, come check Grandpa out. Dine in or carry out. Welcome back to the campus here at Jackson Center High School. We get ready to start the second quarter here. We're tied at 13. Long three, off the rim, no good. Deflected. There's a shot by Von and Hubel. Back into the front court comes Jackson Center. Underneath is Biederman. Really leading all Jackson Center. Finds Poppin, or finally Reichert. And Reichert is fouled on the way to the rim. And that would be the first foul on, I'm gonna charge that to Krim. The first one is good for Reichert. Early goes to three points. And step in to get the second. And lane violation, but the, since the basket went, be no issue and we will play on. And there is Meyer. Over to Krim. And underneath finds Burks going underneath, outside. Burks guarded by Biederman, still by Reichert. And find Poppenstein will come up with a handle and find him. Back comes Jackson Center. Biederman to the front court. Going underneath finds Reichert on the cut, loses the handle. Will go out there was Con Reichert was looking for contact, didn't get it. He's 
Eyes of the referee, and the ball will go back to Houston. 6.57 to go here, second quarter. On the outside, trying to cut underneath, guarded by Biederman. Bottom who will. Over to Krim. Someone trying to find underneath, stolen by Biederman. Biederman on the rush, finds Kloppenstein on the run. Off the window, and good, Macy's Kloppenstein. Macy Kloppenstein with four. Biederman knocks it out of the hands of Burks. The Burks will gain the handle, putting the arm up against Biederman off of that. He got a charge, actually. Now bring the total to four. Biederman will sit. Lichtenberg will check back in for Biederman. We'll check in for Biederman here for the time being. Pranger. Pranger trying to find Kloppenstein, but I think we're going to have a kick ball, and that's, that is the case. Lauren Meyer will check into the contest for Houston. And we'll take out Mondenhugel. Lauren Meyer will check in. And also, Bell Scholes will check into the game as well. for Houston. Lichtenberg in the rings to Pranger. Pranger over to Reese. And we'll find Riker right back to Reese. Going in there, beats it off, off the window, no good. Contact against Meyer. Looks like on the block. That will be charged to Meyer. And that will be, and that will be her second. And that will send Presley Reese to the line. And good for Presley Reese. Three points, all from the free throw line for Presley Reese. Second of two. And out, no good. Rebound comes down. Emily Earl. Coming down big for Houston. 18-13, favor of Jackson Center here. 5.33 to go, rolling here, second quarter. Long three off the brick, no good with Bell Scholes. Lichtenberg will come down for the rebound. Back comes Jackson Center, finds Reese. Reese off the window, no good, but a foul. Charge to Emily Earl on the contact, and that will send Reese to the line again. And good. Four points for Presley Reese, again, all from the free throw line. Second of two. And good. Reese with five points. Biederman will check back into the contest and we'll check out, and Presley Reese will check out. Five fifteen to go here, second quarter. 20 to 13 in favor of Jackson Center. Lichtenberg guarding Scholes. And five second, Scholes. Ball on the turnover over to Jackson Center. 5.03 to go here, 20 to 13, favor of Jackson Center. Underneath is Biederman, trying to find Kloppenstein, can't. Schultz will come up with it, and Biederman will get a little bit of contact on the back. And that will cause a foul. And that will get her into the book. Fouls. It's Krim. Scholes for three. Got it. Bell Scholes with her first three of the game. 
First points of the game brings the total to 20 to 16. The four point lead here for Jackson Center. Riker over to Lichtenberg, out to Pranger. Underneath Biederman drives the lane off the side of the rim, no good. And rebound comes down to Burks. Back comes Houston. Prim underneath rebound, no good. Emily Earl. Back comes Jackson Center. That's Reichert over to Biederman. Biederman finds Kloppenstein underneath off the window and good. Macy Kloppenstein. Six points off the root system, Biederman. Brings the total to 22-16. In favor of Jackson Center, 3.51 here to go second quarter. Jackson Center up 22-16. Burks. Lauren Meyer who checked into the game earlier. Scholes for three. Got it. Well, Scholes for three. Her total to six. 3.25 to go here. 22-19 favor of Jackson Center. Lead is now three. Lichtenberg over to Biederman. Biederman finds Riker. 4-3. Off the rim, no good. Off the back of the rim, no good. Clap. Rebound came down was Earl. Guarded by Kloppenstein. And then comes Krim. Krim over to Scholes. And Lauren Meyer lost the handle, but maybe Krim will come up with that. Off the window is Earl and good. Emily Earl, four points. Cut the lead to one, 22-21 in favor of Jackson Center. Riker underneath the Biederman. Double team. Beat it, finds Reichert off the window. Nope, off the side of the rim, no good. Kloppenstein with the rebound, and good. Macy Kloppenstein with eight. Off the rebound, off the window, and makes the lead three. 24-21. Over to Burks. Burks guarded by Biederman. Oh, yep, that was a little bit, not a carry. That was a carry. And that will turn the ball over. So, uh, Presley Reese will check in for Kloppenstein. Well, Three-point lead here for Jackson Center, 24-21. 2.14 to go here, first National Bank scoreboard. Second quarter action here, Selby County Athletic League. Getting ready to wrap up the regular season here for the girls, get ready for the tournament. Date for Jackson Center in their first round game, Springfield Catholic Central in their first round contest. Reese off the drive, no good, rebound. With Burks guarded by Reese and uh, Scholes. Or to Krim. Krim will cut under. Finds it way underneath and great play over underneath the McKenna Von den Hubel. Great ball movement there for Houston. That's the lead to one. This was a tight game last time. They played a three-point win for Jackson Center in the first half of this home and home and what they normally do here in the Shelby County, home and home with both. So it was a tight game last time and zooming the same here. Biederman drives and scores. Biederman with nine, currently leading all Jackson center scores. Scholes, guarded by Lichtenberg. Reaching one minute remaining here in the second quarter. Long two off the brick, no good. Comes down to Pranger. Pranger over to Reese. Presley Reese. Find Pranger. Presley Reese driving all the way open and off the window and good. Presley Reese. First field goal of the game. Had five points coming into that. Now seven. First field goal of the game for Presley Reese. Brings the lead to five. 28-23 in favor of Jackson Center. About 20 seconds to go and rolling here in second quarter. Houston trying to look to cut into this five-point lead before half. Stolen away and taken by Reese. Reese will come over the dribble. Can she get it off? Off the window, no good. Rebound comes down to Reichert on the floor. Looks like we got, do we have a foul or jump? We have a jump ball. I'll give the alternate possession back to Jackson Center. Adriana Price will check into the contest. 
will take out Krim here. 3.6 to go. Out to Biederman. Long two. Side of the rim, no good. Going to get it up. Nope, it'll stay on the floor, and that's the way we will end the first half as the Jackson Center Tigers take in a five-point lead into the, into the half as the Jackson Center Tigers lead the Houston Wildcats 28-23. We'll be back with mid-game stats and then second half action when we return for more girls high school basketball here on NK Telco Sports. Hometown Opportunity serves Mercer County, Auglaize County, Dark County, and Shelby County. The website as a whole is pretty user friendly. I was able to filter down my options, um, see what types of jobs were out there for me in the area. It really opened up my eyes to the employer market around here. We know that our local candidates, a lot of times our most successful candidates because they want to come here and stay. It's become the go-to site for anybody looking for a job in the region. At First National Bank, we are working hard to make your life a little easier. With products like Card Valet, an app allowing you to control your cards with real-time notifications, transaction restrictions, and spending limits. The ability to access your money through 55,000 all-point ATMs across the country, surcharge free. Live customer support when you need it. And online and mobile banking, allowing you to gain access to your financial information wherever and whenever you like. First National Bank, making your life a little easier. Welcome back to Jackson Center High School as we bring you halftime. It's currently Jackson Center 28 and Houston 23 here for our halftime stats brought to you by Grand Lake Health System for Houston. Bella Schultz, Bill Schultz with six, Lauren Grimm with two, Katie Meyer with six, McKen uh, McKenna Vandenhoogle with four, and Emily Earl also with four. And for Jackson Center, Presley Reese, Currently with seven, McKinley Reichert with four, Addie Biederman with nine, and Macy Kloppenstein with eight. And those are your halftime stats brought to you by Grand Lake Health System. Just want to take a quick, quick opportunity to thank our additional sponsors one more time. Carriage Works, Chiltex LLC, Cy Schwederman, Damon Supply, Elmwood Assisted Living, Hometown Opportunity, Elsman Automotive, Pogi Plumbing and Heating, Lincoln Electric, Minster Bank, New Knoxville Supply, Securecom, Bud's Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Crown Equipment, Shelby County Veteran Services, St. Henry Bank, and WCSM Radio. Thank you for all those sponsors and our additional sponsors. Scoreboard sponsors, First National Bank. Our keys to the game brought to you earlier by Keyhole Pizza. Timeouts are brought to you by Precision Strip, our player of the game, which I'll work on here. And at the end of the game, brought to you by NK Telco. And again, just brought you our game day stats, brought to you by Grand Lake Health System. So we're getting ready to start the second half. Here, this is get, finishing up here the uh, season here, as we met uh, here, the, girl, uh, the girls basketball getting ready to finish up and get ready for their tournament. Jackson Center with their first round tournament game. Uh, Going to be against Springfield Catholic Central. It'll be our first round opponent. And they're uh, you know, going into the Vandalia District. Only the Southwest Six they were in and turnover knocked out by Reese. And the breakdown on the dribble was Katie Meyer. And inbounds comes Jackson Center. Just getting ready to start it here in the five point lead. Looking to build on it. Biederman on the drive, going underneath, trying to way, trying to find Poppenstein. That was way over her head. And that will be back-to-back -back turnovers here for Houston and Jackson Center, respectively. And back comes Houston. And that'll be Krim into the front court. And it's Meyer, Katie Meyer. It'll be underneath the Earl. Rebound comes down to Biederman. Biederman will one of the front court. Lose the dribble. Roll back. Off that. Trying to find it. Earl will knock it out, make sure it doesn't get anywhere. She was just making sure that didn't get into anybody else's hands. 
Mondenhubel was trying to find the handle and couldn't do that. Came out with a great steal there on Biederman losing the handle, but able to come up with it. Reese trying to find underneath, and that's brought down by Earl. Nice work there, and that'll bring it in to Krim. Krim will go on the front court. She's guarded by Pranger. Between the rings. Except the screen was Earl trying to find it underneath. Riker will find it and give it to Poppenstein. Riker will find Biederman in the front court. She'll drive. Trying to go underneath the Reese. Can't find her. And we got a walk. Falling back was Krim. Moving the ball while on the ground. So that will bounce to Jackson Center. Biederman on the front of the rim, side of the rim, no good. And comes down to Earl. Katie Meyer. In the front court guarded by Reese. Over to Krim. Warren Krim. Over to Katie Meyer. Over to the side. And get Burks. Between the rings is Vondenhubel. Kenna Vondenhubel. Inside. Back to Vondenhubel. Over to Krim. Back to Vondenhubel. Underneath trying to find. Hit her right in the head was uh, Katie Meyer. And lost the handle and turnover will belong to Jackson Center. No, no scoring either team here in this almost two minutes. The score we went into halftime with is what we still stand. 28-23, favor of Jackson Center. Over to Biederman. Let's find Riker. Back to Biederman. They'll drive the lane off the window. And nope, no good. Rebound comes down to Earl. Guarded by Kloppenstein. Back comes underneath was Meyer. Katie Meyer was trying to find uh, Burks underneath. Trying to find Burks underneath. Then with the handle, another turnover. Still scoreless here and since the half began. 5.43 to go here. School, First National Bank scoreboard still stays the same. 28-23, favor of Jackson Center. Peterman will leave it off for Reese. Reese long three, off the brick, no good. Rebound was knocked away by Burks, and that came up with it was Krim. Guarded by Biederman. Biederman comes up with a steal, finds Pranger by herself. Can she get underneath? Got some double, goes back to Reese, but at least keep the handle, though. Biederman out to Riker. Nice defense there by Biederman. Going up against that. Line and Pranger. Pranger to Riker. Over to Reese. He's guarded by Meyer. Poppenstein away from the rim, goes over to Biederman. Biederman long two. They got it to roll, Addie Biederman. Currently leads Jackson Center with 11. Long two, in and out, no good. And we got it over the back was Emily Earl. And going for the rebound. And then that will bring up a timeout here by Houston. And then we'll do a full timeout. And we brought to you by Precision Strip. And we'll be back with more action. It's currently Jackson Center 30 in Houston 23. We'll be back with more action here in the third quarter of girls high school basketball and then KTL Sports. Are you looking for a rewarding career? Lincoln Electric Automation in Coldwater and Fort Loramie supplies top-of-the-line automation systems to manufacturers. Lincoln Electric Automation routinely develops its team through hiring and by offering advanced technical training. We understand that every employee matters and every role contributes to the success of our business. We offer advancement opportunities, competitive wages, and benefit packages. Visit LincolnElectric.com and get on track to a better career and a better future. Welcome back to Jackson Center High School. It's currently Jackson Center 30 and Houston 23, 437 to go here, third quarter. First National Bank scoreboard. His name's Michael Laws. Glad to be with you here in Jackson Center. Wrapping up the girls' basketball season. Ready for their tournament. And a 
that kick off from next week. And we got some contact there, and we do have a foul actually charged to Katie Meyer. issue with Lichtenberg. It looks like a strap is coming off. And she will readjust and off we go. Jackson Center on the foul. Currently two team fouls here in the third quarter against Houston. Beat him into the left of the rim. And left of the lane. On to Lichtenberg between the rings. Over to Reese. Chrisley Reese. Jumper off the side of the rim, no good. Lichtenberg comes up with a rebound. Off, did. He lost the handle, thought Biederman had it, but it did go off of Jackson Center and will belong to Houston. 4.05 to go here. 30-23 in favor of Jackson Center. Shelton County Athletic League. It's a close one the last time they played, as they mentioned, 47-44. Jackson Center win in the front half of this home and home. On a way over was Burke off that, but rebound was Emily Earl trying to go back up, but she was fouled on the way up. And gets a chance to cut into this seven point lead with Fox stop in from the free throw line. That foul was charged to McKinley Reichert. Side of the rim, no good. Was Earl. Emily Earl. We came into the game averaging 12 points, 9.5 rebounds a game. And she'll get the second one, Emily Earl, and go to five points. And back from the Tigers, up by six. Lichtenberg finds Riker wide open, will take the shot, and good, McKinley Riker. Riker with six points, wide open. You know, to ship that defense over and, and wide open. Von Hoover over to Scholes. And Scholes. And Burks. Burks double teamed by Riker and Biederman. Is able to get out of it, though. Finds wide open is Katie Meyer. Finds Katie Meyer brings her total to eight. Coming into this game, 12 points and four rebounds again. And, excuse me, averaging 10 points and four rebounds a game. Bring the lead 32-26. Favor of Jackson Center, 243 to go here. Rolling here, first national bank score for a turn is Riker. No, off the rim, no good. Emily Earl comes down with a rebound. That comes the Wildcats. Meyer. Katie Meyer. Devon and Hoover will find Schultz. Trying to go over, find Burks, can't do it. Hands up by Reese. And Biederman was trying to find Reichert underneath and way over her head. Biederman said, my bad. There's a high five to Reichert, and then we'll move on, and the ball will come back to Houston. Presley Reese will check back out. Currently, Pranger, Kloppenstein, Riker, Biederman, and Lichtenberg on the on the floor for Jackson Center. Riker and Biederman on the double team. We've got a Burks and we got some contact. Riker got a hold of contact on Burks there. That'll be the second foul of the half of the excuse me of the quarter. And it's Jackson Center. 32-26 here, 1.56 to go, third quarter here. First National Bank scoreboard in favor of Jackson Center. Schultz, Schultz. Over to Katie Meyer. Off to Schultz. Finds Burks, Burks will try and drive against Biederman, got caught up by Kloppenstein. Meyer loses it and will not have it, but it was did touch Jackson Center on the way out. And we'll keep the ball with them. Presley Reese will check in and check give Biederman a, a breather. Uh -huh. 
Lauren Krim will check back into the contest. She'll take Olivia Burks out. Lauren Krim back into the contest. Between the rings, guarded by Pranger. Wide underneath is Meyer, off the, hard off the rim. Lichtenberg, big board in that battle with Earl. Reese into the front court. Over to Lichtenberg. I find Pranger almost lost the handle and was able to come up with it. And Reese will keep it, guarded by Meyer. Under a minute to go here, third quarter. 32-26, favor of Jackson Center. Trying to find Kloppenstein all by herself, and she does. Able to beat it, and Kloppenstein up to 10. Brings the lead, 34-26, 40 seconds to go. Emily Meyer in the, probably holding, looking, looks like they're going to be holding for the last shot. May not. We'll try to, probably try to find the opening. Between the rings is Vonden Hoogle. Over to Schultz. Schultz. Guarded by Lichtenberg. Whoa, big contact. Presley Reese got and helped her up. Knew that was coming. Helped Schultz up off the floor. And a big my bad there, but good. she got that way to show that. Schultz will check out of the contest. Olivia Burks will check back in for Houston. And Emily Earl. Over to Olivia Burks, guarded by Lichtenberg. Out to Von and Hubel. Between the rings is Lauren Krim. On to block by, and got it to go, is Olivia Burks. With her first one trying to go long. Three won't go, and that will bring our third quarter to a limb. We are through three quarters. It is Jackson Center 34. And Houston 28 will be back here with fourth quarter action when we return with more girls high school basketball here on NK Telco Sports. CarriageWorks has expanded and now can hold up to 25 cars in our service bay. CarriageWorks thrives on customer satisfaction. We accomplish that by providing top of the line technology. CarriageWorks now uses a laser beam system to measure down to the millimeter of factory specs to better service you and get you back on the road. CarriageWorks has a brand new top of the line paint booth that uses waterborne paint. There's no job too big or too small for CarriageWorks. We are certified collision specialists. Come in and see us today. I'm back at the start of the fourth quarter here on NK Toko Sports. It's currently the Jackson Center Tigers 34 and the Houston Wildcats 28. We finish up the Shelby County Athletic League excuse me, season for girls basketball. We wrap it up here as their tournament draws are done and pretty much know their matchups now. And get, looking to finish up here the regular season and get ready for tournament. Biederman over to Kloppenstein, way short. Reese will keep it in, though, off of able to deflect that off of Vonnenhoevel. <coughs> and be able to keep the basketball. Biederman will come on the inbound. 7.48 to go here, third, excuse me, fourth quarter. And nice defense there by Burks to be able to come up with that and create the uh, turnover. Into Earl. Over to Vonnenhoevel. And it's Katie Meyer. Olivia Burks driving against Biederman. And then stole it and then Presley Reese comes up with a turnover. Over to Biederman. Over to Pranger. Guarded by Krim. Kloppenstein away from the rim. Guarded by Earl. Earl's able to come up with a steal and get the ball back to Houston. Trying to cut into the six-point lead here in the fourth quarter. 34-28, favorite Jackson Center. Over to Burks. Burks over to Von and Hoovel, guarded by Kloppenstein. Katie Meyer, back to Von and Hoovel between the rings again, guarded by Kloppenstein. Presley Reese on her, and Kenley Reichert coming up with a steal, trying to cut it off past the Earl. That comes Reichert. Over to Reese. 
Drive underneath, contact, and a foul. Reese was driving, and that will be on the arm, and that will send Presley Reese to the line. Presley Reese converted five three throws already. And a new setter, six. Currently at eight points. Hoppenstein will check out, and D. Lichtenberg will check back in for Jackson Center. Reese with her second attempt, and got that one to go as well. Currently at nine points, seven of them from the free throw line. 36-28, favor of Jackson Center, 6.29 to go here, fourth quarter. Von Hubel guarded by Biederman. Find Scholes, turned by Lichtenberg. Jackson Center pretty much straight up going man-to-man -man now. Pretty much has all day, and really been creating a lot of pressure. Von Hubel going against Biederman. Biederman will be able to knock it out. And then at least keep the basketball with Houston. 6.09 to go here, fourth quarter. 36-28 in favor of Jackson Center. Scholes on the inbound. Find Von Neuvel will give it to Krim. Krim back to Scholes. Going with six points. Right by Lichtenberg. Almost ran into the turnip, but they'll have a timeout. Scholes, Lichtenberg will create that. They'll create and Houston will take a timeout courtesy of Precision Strip. And it'll be a full timeout. We'll be back with more girls varsity basketball action. It's currently Jackson Center ahead of Houston, 36-28. We'll be back with more when we return on NFL Sports. We are here. And here and here. Minster Bank is everywhere, providing every banking service that you need to keep your financial life in order. Whether you are on the go or stopping by one of our branches, Minster Bank is here for you. We proudly support the communities where you live. Minster Bank, helping people achieve financial success. Welcome back to Jackson Center High School. Currently, Jackson Center leads Houston 36-28 here, fourth quarter, 5.58 to go here on the First National Bank scoreboard here. Shelby County Athletic League, second half of this home-and-home home of this series. As all Shelby County Athletic League is home-and-home and, home and great stuff by Reese, but that'll charge it. Thought she had the steal, but still had caught. Burke still had it in her hand, and that will at least create a alternate possession and the arrow belongs to Houston. Earl threw it away. It'll be a background. Pringer will take it up, but that was probably not a good idea. Should have let them have the over and back instead, but, but in Fort Reese tried to step in on that pass to Katie Meyer and unfortunately stepped out in doing so. Inbound. Katie Meyer over to Von and Hoover. Going underneath to Earl. Earl off the window, no good. Biederman will come up with a rebound. 5.25 to go. 36-28, favor of Jackson Center. Leslie Reese over to Pranger will find Lichtenberg. And Lichtenberg finds Reichert all by herself. Turn around, jumper, good. Uh, Kenley Reichert. Only at eight points. Von Neuvel over to Krim, finds Meyer Long. Three in front of the rim, no good. The rebound comes over to Von Neuvel. We'll find Meyer again driving against Reese. That contact on her. And that will send Katie Meyer to the line. Found in charge of Presley Reese. Will be, I believe, her third. Yes, it will be a third foul on Presley Reese. And converting 
is Katie Meyer. Only a nine points. Make that ten. Only leading all Houston scorers. Riker over to Reese. Trying to beat the double team. A little bit of pressure coming here from Houston. And then we got a timeout coming from Jackson Center just to make sure they didn't get out. So they didn't lose the basketball. And then, so the timeout brought to you by Precision Strip. It'll be a full timeout. We'll be back. 4.34 to go here. Fourth quarter. Jackson Center currently up 38-30 over Houston. We'll be back with more girls varsity basketball when we return on NK Telco Sports. Together, we are family, working safely for our loved ones. We are problem solvers who challenge the status quo and drive improvement. We care about our customer relationships. We stay true to our values, caring and respecting one another. We embrace change as we journey through our career. We are Precision Strip, the world's leading processor of rolled steel and aluminum. Precision Strip, doing the exceptional. Going back to Jackson Center, 4.34 to go here, fourth quarter, 38-30 in favor of Jackson Center. Houston trying to cut into this eight-point lead. Three-point loss last time they met, 47-44. Jackson Center win. Jackson Center will inbound here, 4.34 to go, rolling an eight-point lead. Leslie Reese heading into the front court, guarded by Katie Meyer. We find Biederman stolen. Nice steal by Von and Hubel. Somebody thought that was a walk, but Von and Hubel was able to get it to go. Bring her total to six on a steal and cut the lead to six. Double team coming from Houston. Finds Pranger all by herself, three on one for the Tigers. Underneath to Lichtenberg. Lichtenberg. Reese off the window, no good. Rebound goes back to Reese, and she was able to get her own rebound and, and finish. Reese with 11. Brings the lead back to eight for Jackson Center. Krim. Not to Meyer. Way over to Burks. Guarded by Lichtenberg. On the lane, double team. Burks off the brick, no good, but fouled by Lichtenberg on the way up. Well, that'll send her to the line. 3.26 to go. Chance for Houston to cut into this lead while the clock has stopped. And it's Lichtenberg's first off the brick, no good. Is Burks. 40 32, in favor of Jackson Center. Burks looking to cut this lead to seven. Can't do it either on the brick. Rebound comes down to Reichert. Kenley Reichert over to Reese. Finds Lichtenberg all by herself. Two and one. Find Pranger on the cut. Got it. Can he get it to fall? No. Contact from Burks. And I'll send Pranger to the line. Trying to get an old fashioned three point play. Didn't go. So, but Pranger can add two more, add up to two more points here. And she does at least one of them. Pranger with her first points of the night. Lichtenberg will check out. Kloppenstein will check back in. Von and Hubel will check out. Katie Meyer back in. Pranger makes the second. It's two points. Both of her from the free throw line and a 10 point lead. 3.13 to go here. Houston looking to cut into this 10 point lead. Scholes started by Riker. Biederman against Earl. Foppenstein finds Burks. Burks trying to find it off the front of the rim. No good. Earl comes up big with a rebound and good. Emily Earl. Big on the boards. Being that double team. Cuts the lead to eight. We'll take the timeout here. 2.56 to go. 
Timeout brought to you again by Precision Strip. We will keep it here. As looking to uh, make sure you follow all the action here and be able to catch us on social media. Facebook, Twitter, or Facebook X, excuse me. I always formerly known as Twitter. YouTube. Catch all your favorite and also on the NK nkt.tv app as well. You can find us or also nktelco.com slash sports. So if you ever want to catch any any replays of any games, whether it be basketball, football, and we'll be heading back into baseball this year. We didn't get a chance to do that very much last year. Some shortages, but looking to make an approach there and cover both baseball and softball this year. Bringing that here to our family of nktelco.com slash sports broadcasts here all this year. So 2.56 to go. A great steal there coming up there is Emily Meyer, big time. Off the contact, no good. Going on the, looks like that was off a, of, looks they had that off a of Rikert. Coach Gillespie is not happy. Thought that should have gone the other way. Biederman beats Bond and Hoogle. Contact off the brick, no good, but Biederman will go to the line. It's contact by Bond and Hoogle. Foul on the way, that will be the third foul of the quarter. Adriana Price at the table long with Shoals. Biederman will be able to convert first one of two. Lichtenberg will check in for Kloppenstein. Nine, nine point lead. Peterman comes up again. Thirteen points currently for Peterman. Two thirty to go. Meyer on the floor. I want to find it. Find Scholes for three off the window. No good. But Earl will come up with a rebound. Back to Scholes. Guarded by Peterman. Meyer. Long two. Front of the rim, no good. Rebound, Pranger. Now I got some fouls, and that probably is where we're going to get started. Turn, get the clock stopped and go from there. Von and Hoovel and Burks will check back in. Scholes and Price will check back out. Probably got one more foul to give before the Jackson Center goes in line. Currently, they're fourth. Team foul. Giving it away. Three. Got it. Great steal by Von and Hobel. Intercepting the pass, making it 44 36. Trying to get on to Biederman. And they finally, Von and Hobel able to get that. Thought that was earlier. And that will be the fifth, and that will start sending Jackson Center to the line. And that will send Addy Biederman to the line. 156 to go here, 41, or excuse me, 44-36 in favor of Jackson Center, an eight-point lead. Peterman again, only at 14 points. Bring up the second. She got that one as well. 15 points for Addie Biederman. And we're under two minutes. Long three, front of the rim, no good. Lichtenberg will come up with the rebound. Over the back is Price. Now we'll send Lichtenberg to the line. Adriana Price. Yeah. Get in there on Lichtenberg and we'll get her first foul. 
150 to go here. Clock stop, 46-37 favor of Jackson Center. Lichtenberg from the line, shooting two. From Brick on that one, no, no good on the first one. Got it. Lichtenberg gets, gets on into the scorebook with some points and brings the lead to 10. Meyer. That's a price. Meyer, three. Top of the brick, no good. And goes Pranger and go to Biederman. Finds Reichert all by herself and got it. McKinley Reichert on the feed from Biederman. Brings the lead to 12. Earl off the brick. Uh, Biederman. Is now fouled by Scholes. Schultz, Bill Schultz. That was her first foul, and they'll send Biederman to the line. Currently standing at 15 points, make that 16. Rotation here for Jackson Center on some defense to here off to the second one and Biederman with her second. And that one in and out though. Uh, 120 to go. 121 to go and 13 point lead here for Jackson Center. Austin looking to cut into this any way they can. And a price over to nice cut over the Krim, no good. Biederman with a rebound. Reese. Over to Lichtenberg and Biederman. Back to Biederman. Bringer. Over to Lichtenberg and looks like Jackson Center is going to be content to try to get this one out and reach in there. Katie Meyer. That will send Presley Reese to the line. Julia Burks will check in for Katie Meyer. Jackson Center looking to extend their 13 point lead. Currently 50 to 37 here, 38.2 to go here, fourth quarter. Reese with the. Able to get it to go. I'll bring her total of 12 points. Front of the rim, no good. Earl with the rebound. Nice block. Reese almost able to get the get the steal. Was cutting in front of Krim there, but unfortunately could not keep the handle and the ball go out of play. 33 seconds to go here, fourth quarter. 51-37 in favor of Jackson Center. Houston. We'll see if they can cut into that, but not looking promising right now. Time not on their side. Earl blocked by Biederman. No, the Reese. That'll bring their Houston will bring them to three and nine in the and then will drop them to six and fifteen overall. And then this will bump Jackson Center to fourteen to seven and seven and five in the Shelby County Athletic League. And they will dribble it out, and that will do it. And our final here from Jackson Center is the Jackson Center Tigers 51 and the Houston Wildcats 37. We're going to take a very, very short break. We'll be back with end of the game stats, and we'll have our player of the game courtesy of NK Telco when we return on NK Telco Sports. New Knoxville Supply Company, the supply source for residential, commercial, and industrial jobs. We specialize in plumbing products from many name brands, electrical products from replacing a light switch to rewiring an entire house, heating, air conditioning, and geothermal products, sheet metal ductwork, installations, and service. We are now housing more inventory so all the hardware items you need to complete the job are available right away. New Knoxville Supply. Stop in, call, or check us out online at newknoxvillesupply.com. Welcome back to Jackson Center, where our final is the Jackson Center Tigers 51 and the Houston Wildcats 
37. That will bring the overall record for Houston to 6 and 15 and 3 and 9 in the Shelby County Athletic League. And that win will bump Jackson Center to 14 and 7 and 7 and 5 in the Shelby County Athletic League. Our final stats uh, brought to you by Grand Lake Health Systems. Final scoring: Olivia Burks for excuse me for Houston. Olivia Burks with two. <coughs> Bell Schultz with six. Two for Lauren Krim. 10 for Katie Meyer, and 7 for Emily Earl. And for Jackson Center, 2 for Grace Pranger, 12 for Presley Reese, 10 for McKinley Reichert, 16 for Addie Biederman, and 1 for Dee Lichtenberg, and 10 for Macy Kloppenstein. That will do our scoring, and that will bring our final to 51-37. And now it's time for our player of the game, brought to you by NK Toko, and we're going to go with the 16-point scorer for Jackson Center, Addie Biederman. And she will be our N.K. Tuckle player of the game, courtesy of N.K. Tuckle. Congratulations, Eddie Biederman, 16 points. And she was all over the floor with uh, lots of blocks and steals. So congratulations to her. And good luck to teams going forward here in the tournament as they get started next week. So, again, one final time here from Jackson Center, your final score. The Jackson Center Tigers 51 and the Houston Wildcats 37 for our director, Austin Amberge, and my name is Michael Law. It's glad to be with you here. We'll be back. Hope to see you, hear you again soon, and follow us here all season long here on NK Telco Sports. Good mind, everybody.